Hey, that's for sure. Well, we don't get many new faces in town. Hey, why don't you try feeding them? Really? Is that allowed? Of course! Wait here. I'll go and grab some food. Just go up to one of them, and hold out your hand. This guy's a mess. You don't bathe them? Oh, we try. But that one just loves his mud baths. Like I said, this is the graveyard. There's so many of them. Yeah, well, if they're dead, they're down there. Damn, you really wolfed that down, huh? Our savior's favorite farm has kind of a ring to it, don't you think? I might put up a sign, right. I suppose it's time I showed you the upper city. It's back the way we came, and up the stairs. Or did you want to look around a bit more first? Tanta Sila didn't come as far as the pasture. There's that to be thankful for, at least. These little lovelies are worth more to us now than ever. Wool, milk, meat, even parchment. You name it. We need them for it.
That's the graveyard. Everyone who ever died in Sepal is buried there. Only trouble is, there's too many of them now to mourn. Tanta Sila didn't come as far as the pasture. There's that to be thankful for, at least. These little lovelies are worth more to us now than ever. Wool, milk, meat, even parchment. You name it. We need them for it. Can I ask you something? Your powers? Could you give me a quick demonstration? Absolutely not. You're not some street performer. Look, I'm sorry, but they're not for show. Ah, really? I was hoping you'd give me another look. But I guess I've seen enough. Adi is as good as save already. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? I'm not your savior. So, this is where the rich folks live. Yep. And they get the best food, the nicest clothes, and the safest part of the city to themselves. They get to run everything just because of who they are. Best not to think about it. Ah, the accident of birth. Curse you, cruel fate. It's her. Oh. Don't even look at her. What business does someone like that have in this part of the city? Uh, that boy is here again. Ignore him. He'll clear off soon enough. Do you want me to call the guards? Only if she does something. Well, of course she will. We'll see, dear. We'll see. The cats in the upper city certainly aren't afraid of anyone, are they? Yeah, they're cute. They're not Homer. I don't know how you even tell one from another, to be honest. This is the Tower of... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Hey, uh, don't worry about it. Let's maybe not go in for the full tour, though. This is the mausoleum. Our souls come here when we die. What are you doing here? And you? You belong in the lower city. Yes! You have no right to be here. Neither of you. Be gone! Ugh, of all the people to run into. Frey saved the city! If anyone deserves to be here, it's her! If she wanted, she could turn you to ashes in a heartbeat! But she'd never do that. Isn't that right, Frey? Okay, can you fucking let it go already? What? 
What's wrong with you all of a sudden? If you want to save your city, do it your fucking self. You're not dragging me into this. What about our tour? There's so much still to see. I don't need a stupid fucking tour. You're not really going after Tanta Sila, are you? Suppose it's better than you loitering around town any longer. You're not really going after Tanta Sila, are you? Suppose it's better than you loitering around town any longer. Can't stop thinking where Bob might have gotten to. You're the criminal who came from the corruption, aren't you? Well, stay out of the upper city. We don't want you tainting us with it. standing guard that or he's still petrified after everything that's happened yeah I guess they do have a pretty keen sense of danger don't they <laughs> look at him he looks like he's standing guard that or he's still petrified after everything that's happened yeah I guess they do have Spray, wait! Listen, okay? I never said I'd help you. With anything. Ever. Got that? I... I'm sorry! I just... I got carried away, I suppose. Look! Let me take you to one last place. Fuck no! Come on, please! I'm not sure he's gonna take no for an answer. <sighs> one look. I have whatever the hell it is, and I'm out. Thank you so, so much! Come on, it's this way! Wait, wh what the hell is this? Thank you so much for saving the city! Oh, Mom said we're not supposed to talk to you, but but you helped us. Thank you, Frey. They've been wanting so badly to show you how grateful they are. Uh, I... it was nothing. That's not true. And you know it. We're all in your debt. Me included. Wait, is... is this why you came and found me in the first place? Pilo! You'd better not let me find you slacking off, you little runt. Oh, no! Where the heck are you? Get here! Now! Oh, no! It's the boss! Sorry, Frey. I've got to go.
What an excitable young man. You know, I've never gotten flowers before. Then let's hope it never happens again, shall we? Hey, children, come back. I haven't... I suppose you saw that. They just will not listen to me. Something tells me he gets that a lot. The children of Athia place no value on their education. None. The blame is not entirely theirs, of course. My teachings will not fill their bellies. Not today, at any rate. But if they do not learn to think of tomorrow, if they would only let me teach them, no, they will not hear a word of it. Can't really blame them. They've been through a lot. None save dear Olivia, that is. Poor child. She at least was kind enough to listen. Had I only been able to teach her to read, I am sure her love of learning would have blossomed. You mean they can't even read? Maybe you could, I don't know, start with some simple rhymes or something? Yes. What a fine idea. I could certainly do worse than try. Thank you. The gift of wisdom is a precious one indeed. I will experiment with the method you suggest. Now, if you will excuse me. Wandering the city, dispensing insights, hither and yon. I may have to revise my opinion of you, Frey. I wasn't exactly trying to inspire the guy, but I'll take it.
Oh. Well, if it isn't our favorite council person. How creature! Still you refuse to leave the city? You who brought Tanta Silas wrath upon us? Say it was my fault one more time. I dare you. Uh, uh, Councilman Janesh! Cease your wickedness, demon. Do not approach her. All who do shall surely die. Those who consort with her will perish in agony, just like the child. What the fuck did you just say? Calm down, Frey. Don't let him get to you. You think because you returned that feeble-minded old dotard to us that something has changed? Well, think again. You are a blight upon us all, a bringer of doom. The councilman speaks the truth. Leave this place. Be gone. Fuck. You actually managed to exercise some self-control. I'm impressed. Not as impressed as I am. They're not worth your time. You did the right thing. What are they doing? If I had to guess, I'd say they're offering our prayers to the dead. Doesn't look like praying's done much for Athia so far. Well, the habits of a lifetime are hard to break. And who can blame them for seeking a little solace after all they've lost? Yeah, guess you're right. change anything now but I still wish I could have spoken to you one last time Encroaching corruption has caused so many of the old ways to be lost. In days gone by, this would have been the season for our most sacred ceremony of peace and remembrance. Yet now, few seem to even remember its existence. Why are you still in support, child? We allowed you to go free only because you said you would go to Tantasila yourself. I would advise you not to go back on your word. 
Wait, is that Olivia's name? Among others, yes. This is a record of those who perished. Rather a morbid thing to be jotting down, don't you think? Your recklessness resulted in the deaths of many innocents. My recklessness? I wasn't the one who almost got Auden killed. Better to lose one life than countless others. Or do you disagree? That what you wanted to hear? Good. I guess since you're such a believer, you won't mind being the one making the sacrifice next time. I. Yeah. Now if you're done preaching. Look, let me make it simple for you. Sila's going down. And no one is getting sacrificed. Least of all me. I have to say, I'm not hugely convinced by the people in charge around here. With that kind of attitude, they'll have sacrificed the whole city before long. Don't get me started. So this is where you were taking us. You let me here on purpose, didn't you? Let's just move our asses and get this done. Yes, let's.
The cats in the upper city certainly aren't afraid of anyone, are they? Yeah, they're cute. They're not Homer. I don't know how you even tell one from another, to be honest. Let's see. Well, are you going after it? What do you want us to find here? Aw, is this for me? the cutest.
Things to do, people to see. Yeah, yeah. Let's get going. Roby and Keen return to us at last. Who would have thought it? I'm from Janoon, you know. Same as him. Does a lot for the old civic pride, having countrymen like that. I can tell you. I'm so happy the crops weren't ruined. My dad said if we didn't have any grain, we'd all starve to death. I'm so happy the crops weren't ruined. My dad said if we didn't have any grain, we'd all starve to death. Please, you've got to stop this at once. Sounds like trouble. Robin's trying to desecrate a lovely old ballow tree. He's, uh, got himself a mic worked up. He's a blue, and the bloomers too! We tried to explain to him that he can't just run amok in the grove like this. That there is our last ballow. All right, just cut him some slack, okay? He's been living in the break for the past 20 years. He's just taking some time to adjust. He'll be back to himself soon. Mm. You keep telling yourself that. Father! Father! Odin. 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 My dear girl. What are you doing here? I was supposed to see you there. I cannot see you there. If you are here. It's all right. I will take you there, and we will be there together. Apologies. <laughs> be a good man, Sir Robian, and hand it over. Please, Father, give it to them. Please. <laughs> Thank you. We'll take it from here. Just make sure that he doesn't. He won't. You have my word. Oh, Autumn. I'm such a fool. You are no fool. I believe in you. I told them you wouldn't harm the tree, but I never said that I wouldn't. Now is our chance. Once again, breaking the law. I don't do it proudly. But all I do is for Athia. And if my father believes this could help, then I believe it too.
Hey, Bob. Strange young girl from another world. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, have your notes on the portals. Um, uh, the Tirana. Ooh, my. He's much worse than I believed. Forgive me. My mind's a, a, a little wibbly wobbly, wobbly wibbly. Um, Vush? Huh? Vush? 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 <laughs> yes, Vush! I need a Vush back home, where I came from, after I killed this crazy lady. If I survive. You will. I will go back home, or I will kill the crazy lady. One or the other. Maybe both. Maybe neither. Ugh. Who's to know? Sounds promising. Yes. Yes, yes, I promise. I will work on making you whoosh. You have my word. Mm, terrific. The word of a senile old has-been. I am clad. Great. What am I doing in the grove? Let's get you home. Audi! Yes. <gasps> Come on. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, Cuff. Speaking of Bob, how come he didn't turn into a zombie? He came right through the break with us. I'd say he was mostly break zombie already, wouldn't you? Strange how Auden seems to love Bob so much. Strange? Why? Well, I don't exactly think the world of my parents. I guess being left on your own for years doesn't hit everybody the same way. But why should it? Humans are horrendously complex creatures, after all. Olivia. Apparently knew the kid, but she just stuck with me. She had fire. And now it's been extinguished. Somebody has to pay. Let us proceed to the archives, then. It's in the upper city, right? What's with this weird tree? Interestingly, I don't think it looks like that because of the break. This blue glow. What's that about? The essence of life distilled, if some are to be believed. Don't you think we'd better learn more about Scylla before charging off into the wilds? about Serobian, I... Actually, it's about everything. The city, too. We... We owe you our thanks. Had you not been here, who knows how many more would have suffered? I... could have done more. Please. I know you are in pain. But you must not lose heart. The bard at the square, Wallace. Do you know him? He may be a frivolous, nonsensical sort of person, but his talent is undeniable. Perhaps a tune might do you good. Truly, his music has the power to soothe the soul. <sighs> Wait, you're not telling me she's... Really? That foppish nonsense? Hmm. 
No, no. Of course not. My feelings are not... I... I mean, of course I... Oh, never mind. His music gives me a certain courage, that's all. A sense that it may not be altogether foolish to hope for a brighter tomorrow. Well, I guess I'll have to listen harder. You plan to face Tantasila, do you not? Those of my line have long been her most faithful protectors. Though such a legacy is no longer one to speak of with pride. Take care. She is not to be trifled with. The dutiful sword maiden and the foppish bard, eh? What a pair. Yeah, it's like the plot of a corny romance novel. the city yet. How are we to defeat an enemy we know nothing of? So these are the archives. Catch! Whoa! What is this? And who are you? I'm the archivist. Auden, tell me you were clever. How do you not know what a book is? No, I know what a book is. Ah, 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 ah. You don't look like an archivist. You don't look like a hero. And that's because I'm not. I used to be a blacksmith before. Built weapons for the very woman that raided our city. She and I were quite close. She trusted me, and I trusted her. Sorry. No matter, it was another time. She was another woman, as was I. <coughs> Keep up! Is everybody in this town batshit crazy? Okay, so how do you go from a blacksmith to a librarian? Archivist! And a smart woman knows when to shift her purpose for the needs of her people. Catch! Ooh. What is this? It's the floor plan of Silas Castle. Uh, what are you, my fairy godmother? <laughs> <sighs> name's Johedi. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Well, the name's Frey, and it sounds like you don't think I'm up to the task. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. She controlled the army, crushing the weak, even without the weapons that I forged for her. Crushing them with her bare hands. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. This batty old harridan needs to shut her mouth. You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Rid us of Tanta Sila, and the corruption in her realm will stop spreading. No. I doubt you'll actually succeed. Before you go, I would suggest that you learn all that you can about the Tantas. The archives, full of books about them. Definitely not my fairy godmother.
So they used to rule Athia, and people used to like them. Yes, although you'd never guess that now. You're here to read, you say? Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's just no one in Sipal has any interest in books these days. I can't say I envy these people. Their rulers did some super fucked up shit. I doubt many of them would disagree. Let's see. A study of miracles. It appears to be an in-depth analysis of what makes the Tantas' magic so powerful. I wonder if you might learn something from it. Pick up some tips and tricks for your own magic, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. I could use the help. <laughs> 